Rock. Ready to rock? Okay. All right, AC. Um, given the way the last couple of games have gone, how crucial is it that you see a team as young as your everyday lineup earn wins in the final innings like they have the last couple of days? Oh, it's huge. You know, it gives them the confidence that they can do it on any single day. Um, these guys have been working their butts off to to put themselves in those positions um, and to get success in those late innings when it's crucial and it means a lot. Um, it just builds their confidence for the rest of the season. Talk about the pitching that you've seen in this series. What has impressed you about not only the starters but the bullpen in the last three games we've seen here at Parkview Field? Yeah, they're attacking hitters, and that's what we've been preaching to these guys is, like, go after them early. Um, don't nitpick around the corners and put yourself in a position where you have to give them something to hit. Um, go after them make them put the ball in play. We have a good defense out there behind us, uh, regardless how young they are. Um, they make the plays, and our pitchers are, are utilizing them right now. Tatis, obviously a big prospect for this team. To see him come through, um, what have you seen in him early, and what was really the key for him in that at-bat tonight, which was you know, the key at-bat of the game? Yeah, you know, everybody knows how good he is. I think uh, it's kind of getting around the league already, like um, how much the talent is there. Um, he has to just stay patient and let them come to them or come to him. Um, he gets a little free swingy sometimes, and I think if he just can be a little bit more patient, like he's doing in those last couple at-bats last night and today, um, where he gets a pitch, he can drive, and, and he's making the most of it. When you look at the way, because the defense, you brought up the defense, and the defense had a big part of this. Last play just was one of them. I mean, you had a couple of plays there that gave me guys safe two or three runs. Yeah, um, they're all doing it. You know, all four of them in the infield. Um, GK, who hasn't played really that much first base. You know, in college, he was primarily just a DH. Um, is learning the position still. Uh, so for him to, to come in and make those plays at the end was huge to build his confidence. Um, and those, those youngsters in the middle and at the corner, you know, they, they've been showing why they're here. Um, there's a reason why that talented uh, group is together. And no matter if they're 17, 18 years old, they, uh, they belong to be here right now. Now that you're two weeks into the season, you've had a chance to go through your rotation a couple of times. What's your assessment of this team and the, and the way that you've played early on? Um, they don't give up, you know, regardless of the, of the record and all that. Um, They've been pushing every single day, um, and that's what you have to do in a long season. A lot of these guys are coming from rookie ball or the Dominican where uh, you don't play every single day um, or at least get consistent playing time. But So they're coming here for the first time, playing in front of a crowd, feeling what it uh, feels like to, to go play a night game and come back and play in the morning um, and for them to have success early like this, especially get a couple or get one walk off and see how that feels is, uh, is huge for their confidence. What about going on the road now with two in a row? That, that really helps, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it's our longest road trip so far. It's going to be seven days. Um, I think they like being on the road. Um, I like being on the road a little bit too. You know, as, as nice as this place is, uh, these guys can catch up on sleep. We get to the field a little bit later, um, stay in the hotel and, and, and do their thing. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if the momentum keeps going.